Good morning, friends. I'm Stephanie, and I live in a Tesla with my pets. This is my kitty, Finley, and my puppy, Snow. A few of you asked to see a day in the life, so I thought I would show you that today. We're road tripping, so it's not quite a normal day, but that's okay. Let's, let's do it. Our morning is starting at a co-op charging station. This one is free. Our charge is going to be done in about 10 minutes, but me and Finley are snuggling until then because we can't get enough kitty snuggles. Night, night, baby. Everybody had such a good sleep last night. We absolutely crashed and we actually slept in a bit because we usually would be up at about six and it's eight already. This co-op doesn't even open until eight. So I figured we probably were not bothering anyone until at least then, which is amazing. Right, it's amazing. Just Next up, I always just take a minute to refresh the bed because it's obviously chaos. Now, usually I would take off all my window covers, but since we're at the co-op, I'm actually gonna run in and go to the bathroom before I do that. I lied. I decided to take off one window cover so that I can show you guys dog mode from the outside. That's where my window covers live, just between the door. Okay, so I've got the car on dog mode. As it says, my driver will be back soon and it's 19 degrees in the car. There's the boys and we'll be right back. I'm all finished in the bathroom. I got a good face wash, teeth brush, all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna unplug and put away this cord. I always try to make sure that I leave the charger as neat as possible. And then I'm gonna take the boys for a little walk. Look at this beautiful green space behind me. I usually take Snow out first because he's got a ton of energy and he pulls pretty hard sometimes. And then I go back and get Finley once he's calmed down a little. Okay, yeah, come on, let's go. Good boy. Nice boys! Good boy! Come on, Snow! Let's go! Good boy! <laughs> we are ready to go. First of all, I have lost my mascara, so we're gonna have to pick that up. And second, we have four hours of driving to do, so we're gonna get on the road. It's almost 9 a.m. We should be there by this afternoon. This is a long drive, so we're gonna stop and get some sustenance in the form of sugar. Next stop, Merritt, BC. We're gonna pick up some groceries because the next charger is gonna take a couple hours. Okay, that was quick and painless. Got the groceries, it was $41, but I got $17 worth of cashews, so I mean, that'll do it. We're gonna go just back up the street now to the charger. Okay hey guys, this is an exciting day. We're trying the CCS charger for the first time. We are at a Chevron, which is giving out free charging for EVs right now. This is me, my vehicle battery is at 40%. Since the car is charging like way faster than I thought, I'm actually not gonna make a sandwich right now. I'm just gonna eat some weird ingredients. I have some smoked tofu, that amazing vegan queso dip, and Tostitos. But I'm just gonna munch on some of those before we're ready to go. Then we're gonna go a couple more hours to our destination and probably find another of these chargers on the way. And of course, before I leave, I am going to stop in and use the restroom. But now we are at 92 for free. So I'm so excited about that. Thank you, Chevron. Let's hope this stays free for a while. We're ready to go. Okay guys, we've arrived at a rest stop. My plans for tomorrow canceled. So I don't actually need to be where I thought I needed to be until Tuesday. I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna nap for a little bit and then I'm gonna use the picnic tables and stuff here and have some sandwiches finally and let the boys play. It also looks like there's a good little walking path here, so I'll take the boys for a little adventure too. It's really hot right now though, it's almost 30 degrees, so Finley is gonna be way too hot in like 10 minutes and so will snow. Hi friends, I'm back and I feel so much better. This is the view that I had while I was napping. How peaceful. Hi, how are you? Were you sleeping too? Everyone was sleeping. My cuddly bear crash landed on me, look at this. <laughs> Does that feel so good to scratches? <laughs> good boys. What a beautiful play. Nice spot, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> As predicted, Finley is already too hot, so he's back in the car waiting with dog mode on, and Snow and I are gonna go a bit farther so that he can burn some energy. Nice spot, buddy. Yeah, that's a beautiful spot to be digging. Oh my goodness. Oh, the 
This is stunning! We've returned from the walk and moved the car to a shady spot by a picnic table, and it's time to make a sandwich finally. On the menu today is more of that smoked tofu with peas and hummus. This one got kind of tall and messy. It was really sketchy to put together, but I got it. And then before I actually eat it, I get up to get the boys food as well because we all eat as a family. Finley isn't really loving the highway noise here, so he's mostly been sitting in the car, but the door is wide open for him to come and go as he pleases. I also got a show with dinner. Look at these beautiful eagles. What are you doing? <laughs> are you having fun? <laughs> you are so brave, my kitten. It's louds out here, but you are brave. Okay, I'm actually gonna shake out everything in here while we're here. We're at a really loud rest stop, so snow's out there, but Finley didn't wanna be, so I tied him to the side of the car here. And then if he wants to come out, he can, and if he wants to hang out at home, he can. Having both a dog and a cat in the car, I find that it is absolutely essential to shake everything out every day and make sure that I've got all of the hair and dirt out that I can get. Almost all of my bedding is waterproof, which helps a lot to cut down on messes in the car, but stuff just collects when the boys are getting in and out so constantly, and I even bring in a lot on like my pants once I've sat on a picnic bench or something. I also love just reorganizing everything every day. It makes it feel so tidy and fresh in the car, and in such a small space, I find that super important. Here's a look at everything now that it's all clean. It looks so much better, and it's ready for bed now, which I absolutely love. After dinner, I decided to make myself a little tea for the road. I boil my water in this little kettle, which draws about 500 watts. And to power it, I use my Blue Eddy station, which is 800 watts. The kettle doesn't take very long to boil, so it only takes about 20% of the battery tops. We've had tons of sun lately, so we're starting off with 100% charge. I keep everything to make a tea in this kitchen bin, including the kettle, my tea, and my mug. I can't even tell you how many times I've had the trunk open like this, grabbing something for the kitchen, and someone pulls over to ask if I'm okay because they assume I'm looking at my engine, which is always super funny and wholesome. It's really amazing to see how many people would stop and help. Once my water is boiled, I just combine everything in my little mug here. I added some sugar and also peppermint tea. Okay, so it is almost 9 p.m. already. That happened really quickly. We're gonna start heading into Chilliwack so that we're there by the time it's dark. And then I have a favorite charger that we're gonna go to tonight for free, of course. This means that I will have driven all the way from Alberta to Vancouver and only spent $17 on charging, which I think is absolutely incredible. There's just one spot that doesn't have a slow free charger on the way and that's in Golden, BC. Okay, so update, we are at the sleep spot and it is a lot lighter out than I kind of thought it would be. So we're just hanging out at this grass. Finley is getting yelled at by some crows. Where are you? Oh, it just flew over me. There it goes. They hate Finley. The crows always like come for him. And Snow's over there enjoying the grass. Look at what a beautiful skyline that is. Wow. Also, I am wrapped up in my adventure cape because I am cold. But check it out. These are some of my patches that I've put on so far. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna sit here and do some editing and relax for a bit until we go and plug the car in once it gets dark. I also ended up taking both of the boys for another little walk each. Finley likes to stay by the bushes and Snow prefers to go through the whole parking lot. Hi, that was a great spot that you found, buddy. <gasps> Hi, buddy, I miss you, I miss you. Oh, you're playing now, you're playing now. Okay, let's get your, your tug. I have here, <gasps> is it for you? Is it for you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, it is almost 11 and we're still just sitting here. The boys are loving the cool air because it finally cooled off. It was like 30 degrees today. I think I'm gonna get them packed up right away and we're gonna head to the charger, which is actually like right beside us. Okay friends, it is the next morning. I didn't end up filming going to bed because there was somebody parked right beside me when I got to the charger and I just didn't want to be drawing a ton of attention to myself. So I put up my window covers and went right to bed. Let me know if you have any questions about living in a Tesla. I'll do another day in the life sometime when I'm not doing a road trip all day. Cause I feel like that'll give you a better representation of like what we actually do in a day. 
It was super fun to have you join in on our road trip and I hope that this got you interested in our adventure because I would love to have you back. Have a good day, friends.